we have another way of combining functions, that is composition. And the composition of continuous functions is continuous. At first blush, the statement of our result might seem a little more complicated than we had with addition and the other arithmetic operations, because we're talking about f of x being continuous at c, and then g of x being continuous not at c, but at f of c. And that's different from what we had here when we looked at addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. These functions were continuous at the same value. But if we satisfy these two conditions, then this composition is continuous at C. And if we think it through, these conditions should make sense. What is composition? What is G composed with F? Well, we start with an input and we apply F to it. And we get an output. And now we apply G to this and we get our composition. So what these things are telling you is that F is continuous at its input and G is continuous at its input. And if we have both of those conditions, then the composition is continuous at its input. And because most of the functions we look at day to day are continuous on their domain, applying this um, theorem tends to be very easy. Like if we look at h of x equals e to the x squared plus x minus one. This is composition. It's the composition of the exponential function with this quadratic function. The exponential function is continuous everywhere. The quadratic function is continuous everywhere. Their composition is continuous everywhere. As a quick corollary of this, we can take limits inside of compositions as long as we have the appropriate continuity conditions. So suppose we've got a limit as x approaches c of a function f of x, it's equal to b. And we've got another function g that is continuous at b. Then if we take the limit of their composition, What I meant when I said we could take the limit inside of the composition is that this equality holds. And now that 
is G of B. <laughs> <laughs>